Got 18 mil here. Not too bad. I have a lot of enchanted, like, tier 5.3, 6.3, stuff like that, that needs to be refined. I'll buy a tier 8 ox after you show me what I need to look in for Albion 2D. Okay, yeah, let me... Let me show you. Okay, so I was using this as an example, or which one was I using? I think it was ore. Okay. So basically, when you're trying to figure out what price you want to buy it at, the only thing you need, I'll make this bigger so you guys can see it. The only thing you need to look at up here is the amount of tax you're paying, which in Thetford right now for ores is 9%. So you fill out 9%, and then the return rate is always 36.7 as long as you're refining in like the bonus city so you just fill that out none of the mastery matters that's only if you're using focus points then i usually come down here and like i'll use 5.3 as an example because 5.3 is usually uh pretty profitable to make so say i can sell it in thetford for 1500 silver right this is how much it costs in thetford then i want my profit to be at least 10 percent which in that case, in this case is a hundred, 150 silver profit for this one. So I just, I just type in the amount of silver until it's about 150. So we got this close. So 635 is about 10% profit. So in this case, if I wanted to refine 5.1s, I would buy all of the ore that is cheaper than 635. And I would refine it into 5.1. And the same thing here. Say I can get 4,500 for the 5.2s. Then if I wanted 10%, I would have to get about 450. So I just fill this out until my profit is 450. So I buy all the ores I can get for under 1780. And that, that's how I used the refining calculator when I was getting started. I did leather, not ore, but it's the same concept. S Simo? Simonk? What's up, dude? Thank you for following the stream. Welcome to the welcome to the uh to the stream. We're just hanging out. Now you got it? Yeah, hopefully that's not too hard to explain. It's not it's not too hard once you, yeah, no problem. Once you understand how to use it, it's pretty easy. Like you can you can fill out all the prices pretty fast you just go check the city see what all the bars are selling for and um and you just figure out what price you need to buy the ores at and you go you can go to a nearby city and just buy the ones that are cheaper than that price and you don't have to do only 10 percent profit you could do like 15 percent profit or whatever it just depends on um, depends on how much you want to make from each one but i usually do about 10 percent that way you don't you don't, um, there's a lot of ore you can buy, but you don't really risk losing too much profit, even if the price of the bar goes down. One second. Twitch. Sorry, I was getting the I was getting the little Twitch thing open so I can control the stream. I'm here to lurk from YouTube. I appreciate that, dude. I love lurkers. Anybody, that, if you guys just want to chill with the stream open in the background while you play while you play Albion, then uh, that's perfectly fine with me, dude. Thank you, thank you for coming out. news for now because i haven't slept yeah no worries yeah i know a lot, like it's when i stream it's usually pretty late for you guys no cap thanks for following dude welcome to the stream lurk till my phone battery dies no worries dude one of the first to comment on your newest video and i said myself to check how check how your stream that's cool i i i usually i don't i wait a little while to go in and respond to all the comments but i'm sure i'll respond to your comment later for me, it's almost five, 4 a.m. Yeah, I know it's like ridiculously late or like not even late. It's like super early in the morning for a lot of people when I 
when I end up streaming, but. So you think with 10 mil, can I get a mammoth in one month? You can, if you play a lot. That's, it took me about one month, a little a little more than one month to, to save up enough for this mammoth. So you can, you can definitely do it in one month. I play a lot by keeping my Albion up in the background. Yeah, like all, all, I just did a lot of a lot of refining leather, and uh, I just played the game a lot, like six six to ten hours a day, most days, and I was able to do it in one month. I know that's not reasonable for a lot of people, but it is possible to get a hundred million silver in a month. Even starting from, like, nothing. You could still do it. I play for 10 plus today. Still a student at university and it's holiday. Yeah, I, I'm going to college. I'm going back to college here soon, but it's summer here. So, out out, out of out of school for, uh, for the summer. But, uh, same. So... Basically, all I do is play Albion and make videos for the summer. Not really the kind of guy to go up, go outside much. Where? Um, I'm just going. I, I'm just going to a university here in uh, the in the United States. So I'm going to the University of Nebraska. I'm in engineering stuff. I'm going for accounting. So, accounting and like economics. I'm from Nebraska, no chance. Hello, what's up Low Reels? Welcome back to the stream, man. You knew what you're doing, bud. Dude, I'm just, I'm just cruising through life, man. I'm just got something I want to do, so that's what I'm doing. More analytic, yeah. I just, I, I like the number. I like numbers. Scott's Bluff. I'm down, I'm down south of Lincoln, like 20 miles. I actually know where Scott's Bluff is. My friend's family is all from Scott's Bluff, so he, he goes to Scott's Bluff all the time. That's kind of weird. I'm in, I'm in between Lincoln and Beatrice. Got a friend here. Scottsbluff isn't super close, but yeah, it's uh, it's pretty close. I'm like a 20 minute drive from Lincoln. Wish you good luck at college. Thanks, man. We shall see. I just gotta start gotta start stockpiling money for it. But oh well. <laughs> 